All right, we're here on MSUEagles.com with freshman soccer player Kimberly Golden to learn a bit about one of the fresh new faces in the Eagles lineup and preview this weekend's match at Belmont. So Kim, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you're studying, and perhaps a quick rundown of your soccer background? Um, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm majoring in math with a, like a minor in education. I want to be a math teacher. Uh, I played for Classic Hammer, and now I'm here as a freshman at Moorhead. All right, can you tell us how you ended up at Moorhead State? Um, Sam Tepfer, her little sister, Kelsey Tepfer, who's also a freshman here, the two of us played on the same club team, so I heard about Moorhead from Sam. And then just with Moorhead being a really good education school, and of course it had such a good soccer program, it just kind of found that this was the fit for me. All right, and more often than not, we've talked about how the squad is young this year. So talking to one of the actual newcomers on the squad, How's your experience been so far? Um, it's it's been a little hard just because there are so many freshmen coming in this year, and we really had really big really big shoes to fill because the program has done so well in the past, and um, you know they lost a lot of seniors last year, so we wanted to be able to keep the tradition going for them, and it's just really important for us underclassmen to be able to live up to what the program has in its name, and so in that aspect, it's a little hard. It's a little hard um, getting to know everybody as quickly as we can just because we are so young but I mean to be completely honest I hate using the excuse that we are young because you know we don't want that to hang over our head anymore we just you know we want to be more head we want to be the program that people know about and so in that aspect it's hard to get over the fact that we are so young all right and if you don't follow the program closely obviously people they just see records so it's been a bit of a struggle this year for the team but how has the atmosphere been in trainings and just with the squad in general? Um, I thought that I think that we've been doing a lot better in, as the year has progressed. Um, in training, we've been focusing a lot more on being able to finish the game. Um, our scores in the game show that you know we're only losing by normally about one or two goals, and. In that aspect, if you if you've seen our games in the first couple games, we were only playing you know in small increments. In in this past weekend, we were able to play you know close to a full game. So the fact that we're you know getting better is a lot. You know that's it's good for us to see that because our progress and everything is showing in training and in the game, and we're just happy that everything that we've been working on is you know finally being put together. So this weekend you guys are playing a team that's not only new to you as a newcomer, but new to the OVC in general. So has Coach Lipka talked anything in trainings or heard from the other girls just about Belmont in general and what we can expect from them? Um, we really haven't talked about Bel Belmont yet. We're focusing more on us right now. We just want to get our game under control and be able to come out and hopefully welcome Belmont to the OVC with, their, with a loss this weekend. All right. Well, the Eagles face Belmont on Sunday afternoon in Nashville, and that's a 3 p.m. Eastern kickoff. Live stats and live video can be found on the soccer schedule page. And you can visit msueagles.com for everything up to date about Eagles soccer or Eagles athletic information in general. So thanks for taking the time to chat with us. You're welcome.